everyone, Ann Lemons here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about the top things that are affecting your gut health. The last post, I did talk a little bit about the, um, the two-way highway we have between the brain and the gut and how much the gut influences the brain and the brain influences the gut. Um, so when the gut is off balance, that is going to be creating more symptoms in the brain, like mood issues, anxiety, and depression. But having that gut not being very balanced can also create symptoms in other areas of the body, like the skin. I'm hearing a lot about skin rashes lately. So skin rashes or hives or acne, uh, but it can also create symptoms in other areas like your joints or your muscles or organs like your thyroid. So uh, what I wanted to do is talk about, you know, what are some of the things that negatively affect the gut bacteria, which then can um, just take away some of that protection for the gut wall. So the gut wall starts to become leaky and then we start to have symptoms. Okay, so let's start with um, environmental exposures. So environmental exposures from glyphosate, which is the main ingredient in Roundup. Um, so this could be sprayed on your foods, but it could also be something that your landscaper is using um, that you may be bringing into the house on your feet um, or things that are being sprayed around or in your house. And then another really important environmental exposure to be aware of is mold. Um, mold is just super inflammatory and it kills off your good gut bacteria. So anything that is messing with the gut, the good gut bacteria will take away some of that protection of um, the gut wall. So important to understand where some of the environmental exposures are coming from. Then we would have, the second one would be medications. So medications like your um, antibiotics, definitely. Uh, we don't wanna be killing off the good bacteria if we can help that. Uh, or NSAID, so non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like um, Motrin or Advil or um, even proton pump inhibitors, especially over long periods of time that will start to mess with um, the bacteria as well as the fungi and create some overgrowth there. The third thing I would say would be gut infections. So this could be an overgrowth of bacteria or candida Again, it could also be mold, a mold exposure um, could be affecting the gut, um, just of bringing in a lot of inflammation to that gut again and killing off good gut bacteria. Then I would say the fourth thing is inflammatory foods. The most inflammatory foods uh, in the diet would most likely be your dairy, your gluten, your sugar and alcohol. And then the number one, reason why um, the gut can become imbalanced would be from stress. So this could be your everyday stress that's just unrelenting and even your, um, your acute stress. So stress that is not um, addressed, that's, that's constant and unrelenting may really negatively affect the the gut microbiome. So it can negatively affect that gut bacteria. It can also slow the gut motility down. So things aren't moving out as quickly and backing up, causing more um, room for bacterial overgrowth. Uh, or it could be stress is causing a, a decrease in the amount of acid that you're producing to break down food, but also kill things off that we need to kill, like bacteria, viruses, and parasites. So stress, really, really important to address on a daily basis. So not just once a week in a yoga class, this needs to be a consistent um, lifestyle piece that you're addressing. And that could be that you do some sort of exercise every day. Uh, even just deep breathing, deep breathing regularly through the day, diaphragmatic breathing, heart math, that's something I talk about a lot, um, brought into your daily practice is really, really helpful. Journaling, um, EFT, emotional freedom technique, there's so many techniques that you can be doing, but it's something that we have to do regularly to reset the nervous system. And then the other piece I would say is the lifestyle um, sorry, the life wave eon patch. 
which is the patches that I've been talking about um, that helps to actually reset the nervous system and can, can flip the switch for, for us, taking us from um, fight or flight into rest and digest and heal. So um, that's a really beautiful tool that I've been using and getting good feedback um, for help with anxiety and stress. So if you would like more information about that, please feel free to direct message me. I'm happy to give you uh, more information. All right, so we've got our five things to be thinking about, environmental exposures, medications, gut infections, uh, inflammatory foods, and then stress when we are thinking about balancing the gut for better health. Okay, until next time.